morning everybody and welcome to the channel I thought that I would uh, take a little walk today along this pressure ridge here it was below zero last night so I think there's about a foot of ice underneath me the sun's been out for a little while and it's just starting to soften a bit I don't think we'd be able to be out here very much longer. But it is beautiful out here. So welcome to the channel. I'll make sure to post some of those shots that I was able to take and show you guys the beauty that there is out here. And uh, today on the channel, I think what we're gonna do is uh, work on the moor vents on the second floor of the cabin and with spring coming quickly i need to switch over my four-wheeler for my snow machine unfortunately i only got to use it once this year but uh we'll have to switch it over so that uh, while there's snow on the ground i can move the snow machine around so like and subscribe if you like my content and uh Let's get to it. You didn't know I was here, did you, little guy? <laughs> That's awesome. Hope I got that. Well, there's that task done. Right. Now, oh, what a terrible day to work inside. 
I guess we gotta get on those moor vents. They're not gonna finish themselves. That was fun. Well, friends, I don't see how I can force myself to work upstairs today. It's got to be 80 degrees up there with the sun beaming on the roof. So I guess I'll find some other things to do. It's just too nice outside to spend it all cooped up. So the moor vents, they'll have to wait till another trip. I got my window screens. I've been getting a lot of flies in here. So I think today's a good day to put the window screens in. Well, I got the window screens in. Got all this fog on the inside of my window though. <clears throat> Must have a broken seal. If any of you guys know how to fix that without replacing the window, leave me a comment, let me know. I think I seen somewhere an advertisement where people can come and change the gas and fix the seal for you, but I don't know if it's worth it. These windows don't owe me anything, as you guys know. Got a lot of cleanup I gotta do on them still. There's caulking all around the outside, but that'll be for a warmer day. Let's go outside and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Man, what a great day. long and starting up the off-grid water tower. I'll have to make a new video on that for you guys. I got this roll of 10-3 tech from a guy at work. I'm gonna use it to feed the, my solar array into the building. So I think I'll roll it out and see how long it is. Imagine some of that oil that was on the sheath of that cable was for some of this darkness on my glove is probably water from the road, but there was a film of grease all over the plastic. Maybe because I let it freeze in the shed, I don't know. Or maybe the exhaust from the generator has built up some kind of a condensation on it. Doesn't smell like exhaust. I got a couple ideas of where I want to put my solar array. I was thinking of either putting it right here and building a ground mount system for it, or putting it up over there. If I put it here, then I just need to take a few trees to allow the sun to come into it. If I put it over there, I gotta clear a lot more. And I'd rather avoid clearing if I could. Let's check the measurements. I can just tell by looking at this one that it's definitely gonna reach from here. Let's see how far 70 feet goes the other way. Thank you. 
36 feet to there. So I can put a solar ring anywhere here. I wonder where <coughs> the front of my cabin is going to be. I've told you guys I don't know how many times that I plan on expanding the cabin. So I think this will be the front corner once I put the additions on. In this front area will be all the living room, kitchen, open concept. And then the back area out to where that beam hangs out will be the second floor. I've got to save up some bucks before I can get to that. This I expect to have for three or four years. But it's good to plan ahead. Most of those trees have got to come out of there for the cabin anyway. So that'll be fine. That's great. Well, guys, I'm going to carry on and enjoy this day. Keep on piddling around outside. I might go for a walk in the bush property across the road and see if I can find some maple trees. Eventually, I'd like to start tapping some trees and maybe boiling down some maple syrup. But all that's uh, down the road to come. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you guys are all going to have a great week. And we'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon.